Hello, my name is Mike Hyman with Carlson Software, and today's short video is going to be on a new feature we added in Carlson 2014. This feature I'm highlighting is within the Carlson Civil module, and the command specifically that we'll be highlighting is the draw single manhole function. Um, we have this routine in Carlson 2013, um, in 2012, and, and so on. But in Carlson 2014, what we've done is we've added a little bit more user interface. So if we need to put a, a manhole um, within an existing reach, it was, a, I'd say, a little, little difficult, but it was a little challenging to get a, a single structure shown. So this command can be found under the Profiles pull-down. And within the Profiles pull-down, we're going to immediately go to the Profile Utilities functions near the bottom. And the command we're going to be using is the draw single manhole. We see a lot of changes of this command within the dialog box. If you knew your starting stationing in your bottom elevation, whether it's a right to left or left to right, you could choose that for your grid dimensions. In this case, because I already have a grid defined, it's it's actually a customized grid from a user, I'm going to choose this option and I'm going to give it a manhole name. So if we wanted to call it manhole 1 or manhole 1 single, we would define the layer, the line type, any of the properties associated to that. You pick your different type of taper formats, your width, your bottom, whether you have a fixed taper or a taper offset. And a neat function within this as well is if uh, you want to draft in a, uh, a, uh, a pipe crossing within that. And I'll leave that on just so we can see what it looks like. So my first uh, option here, I'm just going to go ahead and click OK to that. And I'm looking immediately at command prompts. It says select any entity on the existing grid. I'm just going to go ahead and pick right in this area. Immediately pops up with the draw sewer pipe options which is uh, some really neat features in here. I've, I've set this up automatically so I'm going to go ahead and just click OK. And we see this floating dialog box that pops up which allows you to actually, you could actually pick on the screen if you had some specific points. But in this case here we're going to pick the, uh, the manhole stationing and I'm going to put it right at 12 plus 50 so I'm going to type in 1250 and then the invert, um, we're going to say that along this profile, the invert is right around, let's say, elevation 10. And the rim elevation, um, if we're to look at our notes here, let's say it's 21.86. And the structure is drawn with the crossing shown with the invert in there. And then you can complete... Um, your profile by adding this or you could customize it. So that is the uh, new command of drafting in a single manhole um, with some properties relative to your stationing, your grid, your invert, and as well as your rim information. And this completes the video for drawing single manhole for Carlson 2014.